Hello guys and welcome on back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I have been a type 1 diabetic for over 20 years and this is just a channel all about that. My life with type 1 diabetes. Some tips, some tricks, some hacks, and some reviews which I have for you today. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome on back. So for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing for the very first time and giving you my first impressions of the Freestyle Libre 2 Flash Glucose Monitoring System. So first up, we have got the box. We've got one box which includes a reader and I believe a sensor. I'm hoping it's got a sensor in there. We're going to find out. Full disclosure, my first Freestyle Libre that I reviewed, I bought myself. I bought it in the UK, which is where I live. My second one, i.e. this one, I applied online when I was in the States for a free prescription. I got that through, took it to my doctor, and he prescribed the medication. So I didn't actually have to pay anything for this device, and I'm not working with Abbott. All reviews and opinions are my own. Very important to state in this video. So going ahead and opening up the box, we have two quick start guides, some kind of USB port insert device. And then we have the quick reference guide also in Spanish and English. And here we are at the heart of the matter. We have the reader and it has this little plastic thing that I will take off. And the reader is blue. It's quite a nice navy blue with a black backing. Next up we have more literature, more books. These are the user manuals. A lot of reading material included here. I said it in the first video, I'll say it in this video, I really don't tend to read the instructions of many things. I like to just go for it, make mistakes, and then pay for it later. That's my MO, what's yours? Then we have a cable and a charging cord. Now as I, as I get to the bottom of this box, I'm going, there's no sensor in here. Well, clearly there is not. I've forgotten the sensor downstairs. I thought there was two boxes. Bear with me. Okay, yes, absolutely, my bad. The sensor came in a separate box. So that was just unboxing the reader. Now let's unbox the sensor. I wonder if I should pop the reader on charge. Sometimes they come with a bit of charge, sometimes they don't. I'm probably gonna pop it on charge. So going ahead and using the micro USB that I have already, we'll go ahead and plug that in. Does anything happen? There we go. Just unplug the cord for a minute there to see what kind of battery level we came with. And it's pretty, pretty full to be honest with you. So that's good. So the box with the sensor looks like this. I'm not gonna turn it totally around because it's got personal details on the top. But uh, interesting to note, it says now with optional alarms, asterisk. And you can see out the asterisk at the bottom refers to low glucose, high glucose signal loss. So now we're getting to the nitty gritty of what is different about the Freestyle Libre 1 in comparison to the 2. And this is not going to be a comparison video, but I thought I would just touch on it because right here it says now with optional alarms. And that is referring to the fact that this is a flash glucose monitor, which means you have to swipe to initiate the getting of the readings. However, apparently with this one, and we're going to test it out and see, when you go high or when you go low, it will push readings to you automatically without you having to initiate that swipe. Thus, allaying your fears overnight that you're going to go low and sleep through it, or high and wake up having been high all night, or throughout the day, this sort of thing. <laughs> Gosh, this looks familiar. Okay. Inside we have some kind of instruction papers, two alcohol prep swabs, and then we've got the launcher, I believe this is, with the Freestyle Libre branding on it, and the sensor. So I am going to read the instructions because, so as to not mess about with the insertion of things into my person, that's probably a good reason to read instructions. Oh, the instructions have pictures. I always like instructions with pictures. So, it's approved for the back of the arm, that makes sense. Use the alcohol swab to wipe the back of the arm. This is how you prep the sensor, which we're gonna go through that. Uh, pushing down, pulling out, making sure everything's ready, placing, pushing down, pulling off, and you're ready to go. So it's been a little while since I've used the Freestyle Libre, but this looks 
identical to what the insertion process was with the first version. The first things first, I am going to take my alcohol swab and clean the area. So I'm gonna go for the back of the arm there. Then while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the sensor. Taking that off and unscrewing this. So what they instruct here is you place this into this, lining up those lines. You can see the two lines lining up and then you press it down. Pull it straight out. Nothing left in here. Ah! So they haven't made the needle any smaller, which um, is quite funny. Again, going back into my first video, I saw this needle and was like, what the heck? It's not the smallest needle I've ever seen. And I know this has been an intimidation factor for a lot of people, which I can completely understand because I look at that needle and I'm like, huh? <clears throat> but it didn't hurt the first time. I have confidence that it won't hurt this time. So I'm gonna go ahead, place it on the back of the arm like that. And apparently you just press down <laughs> I'm actually nervous. I always get nervous doing something new. Like, why am I nervous? But anyways, okay. One, two, three. Okay. We're in. And we're off. First of all, it just simply didn't hurt at all. The first ones never hurt. This didn't hurt. The scariest thing is that snapping sound. Oh, yeah. So just to give you a closer look at the sensor, you've got the disc pushing in, doesn't hurt at all. None of that hurts. That's about, you can see in perspective to my body, how much it's standing up off the skin. And that's what it looks like from the back. So there we go, my sensor is on. Now let's initiate the warm-up process. So I think we're ready to make our first scan. I'm gonna go ahead and wake it up. Press start new sensor. There we go. So clearly this sensor has a 60 minute warm up, which I believe was the same as the first one. Set my alarm for one hour from now. All right, so it looks like I will check in with you guys in roughly 60 minutes for our first scan. <laughs> and my alarm just went off to say that the warm-up should be completed. So I was literally just waiting for that phone alarm to go off to remind me to come back and check in with you guys and to do my first scan. But before that happened, um, this started beeping and said low glucose alarm. Now I do know that my glucose is low right now, but let's find out just where we're at. So for my first scan, check glucose. Ooh, lovely, 54. I have already treated this, but it is, of course, of a concern. And that's great that the alarm caught it. Something interesting to note, but not something that I'm gonna get into in this video. I did do a finger stick a couple minutes ago that said I was 76. So 54 is a far cry from 76. I do know that once warm-up has started, some of these devices can be a little bit rocky the first 12 hours. So might give that benefit of the doubt at this moment in time, but that's an interesting discrepancy I have from finger stick to device. So there we go. Those are my unboxing and first impressions of the Freestyle Libre 2. It seems very, 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 very similar, if not identical to the Freestyle Libre 1 in terms of physicality and application of the sensor. But in terms of the alarms, that is a difference. And that was very interesting that we got to kind of experience that first off. I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope you found it a little bit of an insight into the unboxing and my first impressions with the system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any experience yourself with the Freestyle Libre or any other device, please let me know down below. And I hope to see you in the next video, which will be the review video covering my 14 day span with the system and getting into a little bit more of the nitty gritty as I learn what it's like to live with this device. So with that being said, I wish you guys a wonderful day wherever you are. 
great blood sugars, straight CGM lines or flash glucose monitor lines as the case may be. But most of all, and most, most, most importantly, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. And of course, my insulin pump is now alarming as I outro this video. Life with diabetes. <laughs>